You're doing well for yourself. That's right, pal. Tonight I'm paid and blessed. And all I had to do was turn my head. To all my friends. Hey, step back. I know important people. We're gonna show this city what to do with heathen oxmen. Guard Captain, would you like to have a word with your man? Guard Captain? Who? What? <gasps> Who? Who what? I don't... Who bought you? Who bought the honor of a proud guard of Kirkwall and made him a drunken Mabari bitch? I, I don't... I don't know. He was a Templar, I swear. He had the seal of the Grand Cleric and everything. It's true. The penalty for abandoning your post is ten days on the wall. I expect you to report in the morning. Uh -huh. hmm. There's your answer. A Templar. With the Grand Cleric's seal, no less. Well done. Surely you don't think Grand Cleric Elthina is funding zealots? Don't forget the kidnapped Canari. That too. Keep an open mind, Hawk. Elthina isn't behind this. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her... Three Canari leave an estate. And let her finish. Sarah Hawk. Sister Patrice. Mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? Funny how you and issues with the Canari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead. But I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand. But you must admit, you came out the better for it. I know you. And I know someone is abusing the Grand Cleric's seal. Who are you to question who serves her grace? I am sorry, but I see no reason to let you pass. How about the fact that her authority was used to abduct Kunari? A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. It sounds like you've been bad. This will shock her grace, no doubt. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown... Unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And his relation to you is? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von L. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Need I say I'm skeptical? It's her game, for the moment. Did you know someone used the authority of your name to instigate a crime against the Canari? The path to righteousness is never as straight and narrow as we wish. I truly hoped this would not go so far. But do not trouble yourself. I will step in when it's time. I don't... Like any beast, remove the fangs and it is lost. They are weak before the faithful of the Maker. The only certainty in their precious cune is death before the righteous. Sevonel! Take a knee, faithful. The Chantry blesses us. 
You claim a blessing when you have used the authority of the Grand Cleric so openly? You have brought wrath down upon you. You remember Sarah Hawk? The Kunari have friends, Templar. How will you answer their allegations? You want to fight? Face someone whose weapons are not bound. Righteous! Destroy them! Bring this mess to the Viscount's attention. Madness! Madness! That's a word for it. Chantry involvement. Even if they are fringe elements. Oh, it could not be worse. Her Grace had no knowledge of this affair. I trust she will deal with it swiftly. You killed them? All of them? A mother serving the Grand Cleric allowed this to happen. Are you quite sure? She held a blade with them? Told them to fight you? No, I cannot say that. Of course not. Blasted mother. You have no idea the storm these allegations would cause. It would destroy what support I do have. This may have scared her off. She claimed this was not her intention. Well, that is something. I will make my inquiries, gently. And you should be careful in your associations. For now, we have other problems. We have the delegate, but... I can't return the bodies to the Canari in this state. Sarah Hawk, you know the Arishok. What should I do? Hiding this would only make it worse. It would, wouldn't it? I'm losing my sense of how to balance this nightmare. I appreciate your help in this matter. As bad as this is, it could have been much worse without you. Kirkwall owes you. I owe you. So, human, my delegate was taken from the Viscount's doorstep, and he still claims control of this city. I thought it impossible, but I respect him even less. How do you explain the condition of their bodies? 
A fanatic used them to incite others of his kind. I accept that. Well, that was easy. I have seen every vice and weakness of your kind, and how few of you take responsibility. Your Viscount remains a fool, but you are not. Panahedan, Hawk. I will keep one good thought about your kind. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Good to see you again, Viserra. Everything's quiet here in the mansion. Wait, wait. You say you... I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. Oh! <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. <sighs> I'll destroy anyone who touches one hair on her head. Yes, you, you go do that. You're good at that sort of thing. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another! More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I hope I'm not too late. You've been here before, haven't you? This is where you found the human remains all those years ago. We should have known there was something else here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. There. More blood. They are here somewhere.
Looks like someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. This wasn't here before. Mother must be down there. With him. Mother! <gasps> Alessa! Mother's locket. Oh, this isn't a good sign. Does he live here? woman in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now. I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Mother always knew me best. Yes. And she spoke so fondly of you. What a lovely, gentle woman. You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She is here. She is waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. 
And no force on this earth will part us. There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. I tried to find you. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? Mother's gone. Will knowing why ease the pain? No, it won't. It will always seem senseless, won't it? Where's the one who did this to her? Did you find the person who killed Leandra? Let's just say his killing days are over. It won't bring Leandra back, but I'll take comfort in knowing that. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Take care, my dear. I... I feel I should say something. I know you're not good at emotional stuff. 
At least your mother loved you. Not everyone can say that. I'm going to hold on to my memories of what she was. Not the thing Quentin made of her. And just think. You stopped him. Quentin's never going to hurt anyone again. I think no matter what, she'd be proud of you. Hawk. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say, at least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak, or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? I could use one. As much, or as little as you want. No one tells you how to mourn. And when someone says, move on, you take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. I hear you and the Ravani have something going... So, what's going on, Hawk? You wouldn't bring this up just to gossip. What's on your mind? Shows what you know. I would definitely bring this up just to gossip. I didn't, but I would. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Isabella is a great girl, but I think you're likely to get hurt. By which I mean stabbed and left for dead. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay. Point taken. This is the best tavern in Kerwall. Lieutenant Harley? Aveline? Thank the Maker. I take it you know each other. Harley is one of the guard, recently promoted. This disaster was my first routine assignment. I happen to be in the area, seeing the sights, killing bandits, the usual. Not the best time for jest. Bollocks. We're up against Evett's marauders. You're certain about that? Phil Orden's up there, and Victor Longdeath's handiwork you've already seen. We tried two sorties up the path, but it's trapped to oblivion. Now I'd be thankful just to get out of here alive. No fair, God Dog! You brought friends! Shut your mouth! <laughs> Fell Orden? Victor Longdeath? What are you talking about? They have been robbing and raping for Maker knows how long. Did a broad daylight assault on the keep to rescue one of their number two years back. Fell Orden, a blood mage, is here. Victor Longdeath, Sophie. Maker, you certainly drew a fine first detail. Isn't it suicide to stay pinned down here? We're pinned down right now, but so are they. 
If we run, Everett Marauders escape again. So we've been waiting for reinforcements. Victor's arrows and Auden's fireballs taking their toll. But we can still take them down. It's too dangerous for you and your men. Stay put. I'll take care of it. Look out for traps. Be careful. Everett's Marauders are deadly. I'll tell Lieutenant Jalen at the keep what you've done. I'll make sure he rewards you. Good work yourself, Lieutenant. Make sure the others know it. Men! We're heading home! That call. Lieutenant Harley said I should see you about a reward. That's it. Not even going to mention your scuffle with Evitt's marauders. Killing the whole lot of them. That does ring a bell. Hard to remember. I've killed so many things. I believe that. I do. There's one small rub, though. Their leader, Evitz, wasn't there, was he? I don't think so. They weren't wearing name tags. Evitz is the worst of the lot. He may try to get revenge one day. He can wait his turn. I won't lose any sleep over it. Maybe nothing will come of it. Thanks again for your help. 